Hello everyone, my name is Blake Spitz, and this demonstration is taken from a larger project called Women's Stories, W.E.B. Du Bois Papers Data. I'll be showing my first experiment with network visualization in Palladio, mapping data about the top 25 female correspondents in the Du Bois Papers. We'll start in the graph option in Palladio with the women as the source nodes. Okay, so here are these women I talked about connected to target nodes of their work tags, darkened for contrast going to unsize the nodes, which are larger based on number of connections for more visibility, and change the target node to tags based on the various relationships to boys. For example, up in the top here, you can see his family, his two wives, Nina and Shirley, and his daughter and granddaughter. And you can see some of the other relationships here. If we open up a facet here of some of the same two tags, work and relationship, we can narrow to what we're looking at on the network graph. So I can select everyone who has been tagged with a connection to the NAACP, and we can see the other column, their tag relationship to Du Bois, which we can also select. You can also highlight more than one tag so we can see those connected to the Harlem Renaissance and then see if the grass changes as we add poet and writer. And then we can also see who's tagged to Du Bois with a romantic or a rumored romantic relationship. And here are the two librarians, the children's literature writer F.E. Lee Newsom and archivist and historian Ruth Anna Fisher. I want to show one other network graph, the tag showing if these women have Wikipedia pages or not, at least from when I last checked in August 2020. So I have to move these around a little bit, but you can see that it's pretty even numbers. And again, I can limit those to tag with the NAACP, and then you can see who has Wikipedia articles tagged as colleagues or office workers. We can also see who in the tagged with the NAACP has Wikipedia pages, or the Harlem Renaissance, or our two librarians. Of course, some of this is impacted that I sometimes knew these details based on the fact that I read them in Wikipedia entries. So you can also filter based on a timeline. Here a bar graph where each column represents one of the women. It's high spaced on the number of letters tagged to their name, marked by, I think, in the 200s. And on the x-axis is chronological based on their birth years. So here are Nina Du Bois, Shirley Graham Du Bois, Yolande Du Bois, Irene Diggs, and Du Bois Williams. And then there's also a time span filter here showing the time spans um, for the women for whom I had birth and death years. And the last part of Palladio I wanted to play around with was their gallery view. If your data set has the data, you can pull a gallery of photos and descriptions that you select. So here's a gallery of the 25 women organized alphabetically by last name, and I can change that to sorting by birth year. And my second experiment in Palladio will involve the correspondence of Ellen Irene Diggs, who I will highlight here, and I will cover that in another recording. Thanks for watching.